Hey guys, it's your boy Jazz Justice, back at it again with another video for you guys today. Now, yesterday was Christmas, I hope you guys all enjoyed your holidays, New Year's coming up, so, um, All-Star Games coming up, it's big time for the NBA, the NBA season, like, we're starting to get into it, so, um, <clears throat> we're gonna be discussing the Christmas games on, uh, in the NBA from yesterday. So, first things first, the Philadelphia 76ers broke, uh, their fifth game, uh, their five-game losing streak with a win over the Knicks in New York, I believe. Um, it was very close until the end. I think, uh, Philadelphia won by eight or nine, but it was close throughout, so that was a good game. It was fun to see. Embiid and Porzingis go at it, so Courtney Lee played pretty well, like he has been this season, and uh, it was a good game to watch. The Cavs fell to the Warriors 99-92, to I believe, um, to the Golden State Warriors. Kevin Love just went off, he had 31 points, 18 rebounds. He played a, a fantastic game. LeBron didn't play it all right. He had 20 points, so he did okay. And um, But Klay Thompson KD both had over 20 points. Draymond Green had a triple-double, so it was just too much for the Cavs. Uh, Warriors won by 7. And in my opinion, I think that these are the two best teams in the league, the Cavs and the Warriors. Um, the Rockets are very good, the Celtics are very good, but when it counts, I think these are the two teams that are the best in the NBA, and I will be surprised if we didn't see them play in the finals again for the fourth year in a row. And the Wizards fell to the Celtics 111-103, to Bradley Beal had a great game, 25 points, John Wall had also had a great game, 20 one point fourteen assists. Um, so that's I mean fourteen assists, that's kinda um pretty hard to do. Otto Porter kinda went off actually at twenty points, six rebounds. Um and Kyrie had twenty, I believe. Jason Tatum had a on a game, he had twenty as well. But uh it wasn't enough for the Celtics to get the win at home. This was actually the first Christmas game ever played in Boston, and there have been several away games on Christmas for the Celtics. I can't remember the number. It was, like, out it was outrageous, though, how many away games they played on Christmas. They never played at home. Well, uh, the first game they did play at home and get the win, so it's unfortunate for Celtics fans. And this was my favorite game of the night. By far, and I am not a, a huge OKC fan or huge uh, Rockets fan, but I do. I guess I like both teams a fair amount. Like they're because they're fun to watch. I, I like James Harden. He's funny and he's. I think he's a he's a good guy. He's um he's um fun to watch. Chris Paul is the same. I, I'm a big fan of his. Um. And Westbrook, PG, Mello, I think they're starting to find their groove now. They have five straight wins, so that's huge for the Thunder. They're, like, back to fourth in the West, which is what they should be, either fourth or fifth. And they're just playing great. But the Thunder beat the Rockets 112 to 107. Mello comes through on Christmas like he usually does, average before this game. Around 32, 33 points on Christmas. Played several games. Uh, 20 points, so not bad. Six, uh, six boards, five boards. PG, 24 points. Westbrook, 31 points. And 11 assists. I think that the only problem for OKC now is their bench. Like, their whole bench scored less than 20 points yesterday. So, that's an issue. But um, well, I think it's got like Jeremiah Grant. He's pretty good, but I mean, they need to work on their bench. Maybe take Carmelo, put him on the bench, give him. I think that would be a smart thing to do, because right now he's just um at the role. Of, he's just kind of like a scorer. He's not really ball a ball dominant kind of guy anymore because they already have Westbrook and 
PG, so I don't think that I think he could come off the bench, honestly. And to be honest, I think this uh, the first year this is gonna be the first year in a while that Carmelo is not gonna be an All Star because um, the fans who are the I mean they have to the, you get two um, for the All Star game vote now. By the way, I just voted yesterday. But you get two backcourt players and three frontcourt players from each conference, and so Westbrook's a point guard. And I mean, you, if you're a Thunder fan, you might vote for both PG and Carmelo, but then you only have one more front court vote. I, I mean, I can see why you might do that. Like, you probably would just vote for Westbrook, PG, Melo, but I, I doubt all three of them are going to make it. And PG and Westbrook are obviously both better than Melo is. So, I don't think Melo's going to be an all star this year. Let me know in the comments what you think, if Melo will be an all-star, or if you think he won't be. And the Timberwolves beat the Lakers. Okay, guys, so I'll be honest with you. I didn't watch this game. It didn't start till 10.30, because I live on the East Coast, so on the West Coast it was 7.30. Oh my god, I don't know what to say. Lonzo Ball wasn't playing, so what's the point in watching the Lakers if Lonzo Ball was not playing? And it wasn't close. The Timberwolves won by 17 points. It wasn't close. By the way, guys, Jamal Crawford, 19 points in 19 minutes. Who cares? Big deal. Alright, guys, that just about wraps it up for today. A uh, great day for NBA basketball, except for one game. Oh, Timberwolves Lakers. Except for Kyle Kuzma going off. Urgible girl. But, yeah. So, all the games were within 10 points. <coughs> except for Tim Wolves. <coughs> Lakers. But, uh, that's just how it goes. So, uh, really good day for basketball. I don't know what else to say, man. Uh, I'm doing a Amazon gift card giveaway. $50 Amazon gift card. So... Uh, all you have to do is be subscribed, turn on post notifications, you're automatically into the, thing, into the giveaway, and I will select a, I will select someone probably the end of next month to win the giveaway. And yeah, like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. And why not subscribe? Get a free Amazon gift card. I'm gonna do more giveaways after that probably. Um, we're trying to hit 100 subs by the first day of spring. March 22nd. I'm trying to hit 100 subs by then. So I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends if they like NBA content, challenges. That's the kind of stuff that I do here. So subscribe if you want a free gift card. Um, comment down below anything that you want me to know. And just about it. And I'll see you guys next time.